on the As wild card mission. Oh, you're right. Uh, on the wild card line, you're on the air with Richard Hoagland. Hello, Art. Hello. Uh, it's Mark from Collinsville, Illinois. Listen to KSD. Yes. Hi, Mark. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Hoagland. Uh, you mentioned that one structure seven degrees north of the equator mm -hmm. on Euchert. Yes. Uh, what about the structures on the Sea of Crisis in Mar Embryum? Uh, there are no structures in Mari Imbrium. Uh, what I was referring there was Mari Imbrium appears to be the only true lava upwelling that exists on the moon. The papers that I've been going through complain that even on close inspection, the signatures of lava lakes that should be on the floors of the other Maria are missing. They're not there. And these authors are very perplexed and puzzled and kind of bewildered why the only clear flows of lava they can find are in an imbrium, and they are coming up from an upwelling vent at 19.5. So I was using that as an affirmation that our physics, our geophysics of how planetary energy upwells at these specific latitudes, in fact, is working on the moon, which we found by accident in going through these papers. The Mare Crisium Dome, which appears to be in much better shape than the Sinus Medi Dome, if I can use those terms, uh, has a 20-mile-high tower, which we found on an Apollo 16 frame. And we don't have stereo of it yet, but we know the stereo has to exist because this was in an area heavily photographed by the Apollo pan cameras and the mapping cameras and the handheld Hasselblads, and it's only a matter of time until we get the companion frames to do the 3D.